feeling of moral superiority. That quote here that says that he that humbles himself wishes to be exalted. The, that he's doing good things for the sake of the approval of the excellent. Yeah. And you're saying that that smacks more of self-interest than it does interest in the poor person yeah. who, who's yeah. helping. So uh, in terms of Connor's um, self, you know, definition of moral behaviour as being selfless, this, this, that wouldn't count really. The reason you do it is for yourself self-satisfaction. Uh, you feel good. If that were to be the main reason that you did it, that would be true. But is there anything wrong in feeling that self-satisfaction if you have just, say, risked your life to save somebody else? No, you earned it. Right. You earned it, yeah. So if that were your <coughs> motive, oh, I feel good about myself, Dave. What can I do? Let me go out and see if I can kind of baby drowning in a puddle and save it. It's not be like that drowning baby just to um, save it. You know, you, no, I'm pretty you, sure that's pretty you, right. you, would, you would think, well, that's not a particularly <coughs> moral act. He's just going out looking for some kind of high about himself, you know, some kind of great feeling about himself, and he's just gone looking for a poor, unfortunate It's like a baby to say. It's like what? A righteous adrenaline rush. <laughs> it's more like does the end justify the means, but on the kind of like a reverse. Mm. Because they're doing good things, but they're doing it for what could be seen as an immoral reason. I'll give you an example which we'll return to, I expect again and again through this course, of, and this, this is an example of, of somebody uh, saving uh, somebody from drowning in the sea. And uh, what happens is that um, there's a child in sort of danger of drowning in big waves, rough sea, just off the beach. Nobody else is in the water. 